Hi everyone, the Simple Dad here. So your Galaxy S25 Ultra is packed with features you probably never touched or even heard of. So you want animated charging screens, circle to search magic, instant photo cropping, or a completely custom navigation bar. So these five features will blow your mind and transform how you use your phone every day. So if you're into secret Samsung tips, don't forget to like, comment your favorite trick and subscribe. I drop gems like this every week. So feature number one is your charging animation screen. So when you charge your phone on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can get this animation screen like this, where it basically shows juice is going into your phone from this charger. So why settle for a dull battery icon when you can light up your whole screen every time you plug in your phone? So with the Samsung S25 Ultra, you can set a custom charging animation that plays on your lock screen when you connect the charger. So whether it's a clean digital pulse, a futuristic waveform or even a neon glow. It's not just a battery percentage anymore, it's a visual vibe. So let me show you how you can set this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll go ahead and choose this image and we'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper for our home screen and lock screen. Now we'll go ahead and create the charging animation screen. So we need to create a wallpaper which basically moves. So we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app in the Good Lock app, you're looking for the Wonderland module. Then tap on Create Your Own Moving Wallpaper. We'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign and we'll go ahead and tap on Gallery and we'll choose that same image. So next, we'll go ahead and tap on this plus sign. We'll go ahead and choose Particle Effect. And here you can go ahead and choose all these particles. So you can have hearts, stars, circles. You can have some square, X. I'll choose X. Next, we'll go and choose rising bubble. So we want to basically portray that some juice is going into the phone. So something from the bottom of this phone center going to the top. So we'll go ahead and choose rising bubbles and we'll go ahead and preview this. If you're not happy with the animation, you can go ahead and tap on this and you can go ahead and edit all of these details here and basically make it larger, smaller, bigger, and so on. Now, once you're happy with this animation, go ahead and tap on the save icon here and save it. Now we'll go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for our home screen for now. We'll tap on home. So as you can see, we've set the animation for our home screen. Now here we need to go ahead and take a screen recording of this, of this wallpaper, which we have set. So we'll go ahead and create a empty space here. For the screen recording, we don't want this, so we need to remove this. So in order to remove this, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app again. From here, find the Home Up module. Turn this feature on, then tap on Home Screen. Now from here, scroll down and find Show Favorites and turn this off. Now if you press Home, you'll see that the bottom dock has disappeared. Now we'll need to go ahead and take a screen recording. So go ahead and bring down your quick panel menu. Go ahead and open up your screen recording. Go ahead and tap on start recording and basically record a 10 second clip of your home screen. Now once that's recorded, press stop. And now let's go ahead and review it in our gallery. So as you can see, this is the recording. However, in this recording, we have the time and the percentage, and also we have these four dots, which we want to remove. So we'll go ahead and tap on edit, and we'll go ahead and crop this so that it's removed. Tap on crop, go ahead and bring this down, go ahead and bring this up, and then we'll go ahead and save it. Now, once that's done, you want to press home, you want to go ahead and open up your modes and routine app. Tap on the plus sign and then I'll tap on if statement. So I'll search for charging status and I want to make sure that when I'm charging, press OK. And then I'll choose wallpaper. And here I'll go ahead and choose the lock screen wallpaper. So I'm going to change the lock screen when the phone is being charged. Go ahead and choose that video which we've created from our gallery and then press done and then press save. Give it a name and then done. Now you want to go ahead and lock your phone. 
Now, when you're on your lock screen and when you insert your charger, you'll see that your animation screen will show up on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So as you can instantly see your phone is charging with style. It adds a flair and personality to a mundane moment. So it works great with themes or always on display. Feature number two is your circle to surge. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, did you find something interesting on your screen? Don't screenshot it, just circle it. So the new circle to surge feature lets you literally draw a circle around any object, word or image, and it instantly brings up Google results. So it works on photos, apps, text, even paused videos, and even cameras without switching any apps. So here, let me show you how to turn on this circle to search on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here I'll show you three ways to circle to search on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here I'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome and just say, for example, I'm searching, I'm looking at this image, maybe on a social media post, and I wanna know what this is all about. As you can see, I already know this is a Skyline Tower. However, I can go ahead and long press on the home button this will now open up Google, I can, and then I can go ahead and circle. Now Google will basically take this image and it'll basically look what it is. So this image shows the Skylon Tower in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. So as you can see, it has basically searched for that object. Now another way of searching is using your camera. So say for example, you're in a park or maybe you're in a department store and you're searching for maybe the item. Let's just say you're in a department store, you're looking for a shirt. You found the shirt and you wanna know if you can find similar shirts or styles on somewhere else. So you can go ahead and open up your camera. You can go ahead and long press on the home button, and then you can go ahead and circle it. This will now take that image and will look on the internet what it is. Now, the third way of searching using the circle to search is by searching on a movie. Say for example, you're watching a movie and say for example, you have this character. You wanna know who this character is. So you can go ahead and Stop this video, pause it for a while, press the home button, go ahead and circle this, and this will basically search the internet for that person. So this basically shows a KSI, a prominent British YouTuber, rapper, and boxer. So it's ultra fast way to get answers or info, no more typing or app switching needed. It's perfect for shopping, translation, or quick curiosity checks on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number three is your quick crop on photos, so cropping a photo used to take five minutes, now it takes only one tap. So the S25 Ultra lets you zoom in and crop any photo instantly. So let me show you how you can use quick crop on a photo. So here is an example, you wanna go ahead and crop this. So we can go ahead and zoom in, and let's just say you wanna take a headshot of it. So now as you can see, we have zoomed in, and now at the bottom left, you'll see this crop icon, which has appeared. If I zoom out, it'll go away. If I zoom in, it'll reappear. I can go ahead and tap on crop, and this will basically create me another image of it. So this is the original image, and this is the crop image. So that way you have basically created a crop photo of that original image. So it saves you time editing, it instantly creates a cropped photo, and is great for social media memes and creative projects. Feature number four is to remove app labels from your home screen icons. So do you want a clean or minimalistic aesthetic? Ditch the app names. So with One UI 7, you can now hide app labels on your home screen icons. So no more clutter, no more text, just sleek icons in perfect rows. So it gives your setup a pro streamlined look. So to do this, go ahead and open up your home screen here. Go ahead and long press on it. Then tap on settings. Now from here, you wanna find app labels. So go ahead and turn this feature off and then press home. And now all your labels on your home screen have disappeared. So it makes your home screen look modern and minimal, reduces visual clutter, it's great for themed setups and custom launchers. And lastly, feature number five is where you can create your own navigation bar. So you don't like the default back home in the recent layout here, you can build your own. So with One UI, it gives you full control over your navigation bar like this. So you can choose between buttons or swipe gestures, you can rearrange the order and even add shortcuts like screen capture or notification. So it's all about control and customization. So let me show you how to do this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So in order to do this, go ahead and open up the Good Luck app. From this app, go ahead and open up the Navstar module. Turn this feature on and then tap on New Configuration, then tap on Button Layout and then Add a Button. 
So now this is the current configuration. You can go ahead and add camera, screen capture, screen off, internet, up, down, left, right, F4, refresh button, key space, forward, and all of these different buttons. So let's just say I want to add a camera icon and a screen capture. So as you can see, I've added two buttons and I'll go ahead and tap done. Now I'll go ahead and tap on save. And now my configuration has been saved. So I'll go ahead and scroll down, find my configuration, which is right here. So as you can see, it has now been set. So I can press home. So now here I've got the screen capture. I can take a screenshot instantly. I can access my camera as well, tapping on it. And then I can go ahead and access my normal buttons. So by customizing your navigation bar, you have boosted your one-handed usability. It basically tailors the navigation to your habits and you can add shortcuts for faster multitasking. And that's it. These S25 Ultra features aren't just cool. They're practically upgrades that make your phone smarter, cleaner, and more fun to use. If even one of these made you say, wait, my phone can do that, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more hidden Samsung tips, like the video to show some love, and comment below which trick you're using first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.